either. The kid I was talking to figured it out. Oh, hey, there's a camera. It's Wednesday, September 27th. Uh, let's see. If you have done quiz retake, well, this just not as much, but if, as soon as quiz retakes are done, I have them up on Skyward pretty quickly. Tomorrow is college day, so wear college-y things, and I can give you B points and house points and good stuff like that. And then I'm going to talk more about Priscilla quizzy thing tomorrow in a second. Reitling? Oh, Mr. Bro, if I were an IU jersey, is that, like, considered? Isn't it? I mean, that's like the best school, so I'm not sure. Cat. Yeah. Right, yeah. Callie? Look, a fish! It's a fish! Coffers. Does the calling have to be like local or can I wear like any sort of calling? I'll take my dad's Oxford no. uniform. No. Grab him. Mate. Okay. Um, can you wear a, a hat? Like just have a hat next to you? If you bring it and just carry it, sure. That's fine. I mean, we hold. Hi, Julian. Uh, so, um, if I bring a jacket that is from a college that has a letter on it, like, um, like a letter jacket? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But like it's like super, super big. Like, cause like it's not even mine. Like Are you assuming it's a parents? No. no. It's like my grandpa's. He sounds like a wonderful man. Yeah. Well you can't wear a jacket around in classes though. They'll yell at you for that. No, not like have like the hood up, but like just like a normal jacket. Oh that's fine. Right. right. You can't wear like like a coat? Kind of. It's like it's like no, it's it's, it's, like, it's like a sport jacket. Like okay. a letter. Like Are a rain sure? jacket? Yeah. I'll try it. Okay. Reedy? How many points can you get? Well, it's just the one for doing it. So, again, story quiz two retake. Uh, home children, when you do it, just make sure you email me. No emailies, I can't help you. Um, blah, blah, blah. All right. Then yesterday, just to remind you, this is what I am grading tomorrow. Your 10 things about the whole popularity. If you've not done the 10 questions about the popularity, you don't have to take a picture. It's literally on Canvas. Just go to yesterday, and it's all right. There's a button. You can go click, and it comes up for you. Because I was trying to help Nobody you Nobody was going to do that. Oh, that's why you asked for the story at the beginning of class, because you said, Mr. Brogak, I'm absent. No. I was waiting for you to come in. That's what, class. yeah. I've been in here for like 50 minutes. I didn't want to uh, interrupt class. That was so kind of you. Anyway, just to help you out and make sure this is what I come around and check tomorrow. Should be a notebook. Were you going to ask me what it was due? Because it was in giant letters right now. I was going to ask, like, to take a picture of it. No, we do not. The Barbara says do a notebook. Do a notebook, but does it mean that you don't just do a notebook? I'm going to walk around with my little stamp matic and go ka chunk ka chunk So then you should be good to go. Ka-chunk. Piggy? Do we answer the questions or do we just write them down? Mate? Is it like the same system as middle, up, and down? And then for tomorrow, I apologize, Felipe. So for the quiz tomorrow, is it going to be like multiple That's things? what we're talking about now. For the quiz tomorrow. So it is just like last Friday's. It is 15 questions. Nine of them, no, I think up to 11. 11 of them are going to come from this. Nine of them are the same questions that every seventh grader has tomorrow. This is a whole seventh grade thing. Every seventh grader is reading the story. Every seventh grader is taking the same quiz. I'm just giving you guys an extra bonus six questions so I don't have to give you a second quiz. So I figure I'll just combine them all into one quiz because it's going to have a couple of questions about today's story that goes in there and some questions about irony. Just like last week, most of it is going to be multiple choice. There may be a couple of short answers. I think this one is more multiple choicey. Make sure you've read it. I am creating a review guide which should be posted by end of day so if that helped you last time hopefully it'll help you again that's what i'm going to be doing as we're going over stuff today i'm going to be creating that review guide and posting it i do not have a version of me reading it this is one you're going to have to read with your own brain no. I I it that had to happen officially although technically you may be able to type it into youtube and find like a rando reading it because it's a story that's been around uh, i can't vouch for it if you find some rando but uh review guide to help you out from there and then again it'll be the sort of the same this not this one that's from last week i haven't created the new one yet but it'll be the same thing if you want to go through take a look at them review help you out ramos okay so for the miss gillis story i don't know priscilla you know. yes priscilla. Uh -huh. we only got like this much of the story we didn't get like that whole paper you showed us. oh did you not know that my papers are fancy and have two sides and you can turn the paper over, and there's like a whole side to it. Yeah, but is like that all the story? Like what no, no, that's all the story. Yeah, just the front and back. 
I don't have a fourth dimensional paper where you can like, keep turning it and it keeps becoming like a new paper. That's called an iPad. Yeah, it's just that's all there is. I didn't give you a longer story. It just ends with the whole locker scene and them walking out and the storm coming in. Sorry. Well, you have to infer what's going to happen to him. He dies. Shh. <laughs> Matei, I will let you know tomorrow at the end of class. After you take it, and I'll find out. Okay. I mean, then, for today, this is where Pink Sheet comes in that you have all read. Oh, hang on. Homies. Already written your name on it like a responsible kid. So they have no idea which kid I'm making fun of. Home children, you can find this on the canvas page, a little pink piece of paper. If you go on canvas, yours will be like a white piece of paper. Hopefully, you're going to write your name on it, unlike other children. And this is the homework. I know, this is what we're going to take a look at today. We're going to do all seven elements for a real short story and see how well you can practice to get ready. I figured that out. Thank you, Matthew. You're so helpful. <laughs> Thank goodness you're here. I don't think it's Matthew's very helpful in real life. It's working here. Now you're working, you sassy machine. So, home children, this is where it's going to impact you more than the kids here. For you guys, this is where you're going to turn it in. You are going to be taking picture of it and going submitty, submitty, and you'll go clicky, clicky here. And then there's a spot to submit it. Home children, you're going to need this because I'll be explaining a thing in a moment, so this is for you. Living children who are here with us, this doesn't apply to you as much because we're going to do it together. <laughs> Looking at thing, this is what we're going to do. My goal is you have this whole thing done by end of class and be done. And then you can go clicky submitting and everything is fine. So we can help you out from there. And what we're going to take a look at is with our practice, we're going to see how well you can think outside the box. We are going to apply the seven elements of a short story to something that's not a short story. Is it a long story? It's an episode oh, of a TV oh, show. Pink is so bad. Oh my God, Topanga is so long. Called Boy Meets World. No, and no, so no. it's from like Boy. years Yay. before yeah, you were born. Ago. If you watch carefully in the background, dinosaurs will run by. It is how old this thing is. But it works really well for today because it has a really good theme and it's easy to figure out the characters and the conflicts and stuff like that. So I figured, why not? Plus, it's fun to watch things with dinosaurs in it. So in this one, we're going to see how well you can figure out all those bits. How many of you guys are familiar with the show from Dinosaur? I, I, I've seen that. I still watch it. If you are, I the whole thing. most of the characters do not follow the main ones. Like Topanga's not in it. Topanga's so bad. And apparently it makes Julian happy because Topanga's so bad. And so it's going to follow the brother Eric as a main character. Who's Eric? Like I a little hear. Bit. It. So it's going to help you out with little things like that. And Home children, um, I can't show it now because they'll take it off of YouTube. But if you go to my Canvas page, I have it right there. And you can go clicky-clicky and then watchy-watchy and you're good to go. Living children, I'm going to pause this and we're going to watch it together. And then afterwards, if we have time, we're going to go over the answers together and try to make you smart. Er than you are now. No, brain time. Right. Home children, hopefully this is the part where you've gone through and watched the video. We're going to try and help people as best we can. Let's see. Right. So I'll go ahead and give you number three on plot. Since hopefully you have number one and number five. I spelled Eric. For three, I put Eric drops out of school and is big weatherman. Excuse me. I figure that should work on that one. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Who was main character? Aaron. 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 Nicely done. So then who would be second most important character? Dad. Mr. Feeney. His dad. I would go with dad, because I think that's the main one that we have conflicts with and issues and the right. other one. Then number three would be... Can I just put dad as Mr. Matthews? Sure. Uh, for three, I went for Pat, the guy who was at yes, the station. Yes. Four is kind of up to you, whoever you wanted to put on that one. Storky? I have to go in order. No. As long as you have Eric down as like your main character and you know he's the main one, you should be fine. 
I did Feeny for number four. The my, teacher's we did the same thing. Then you have to have your descriptions that do not work for other people, so you can't just put guy or guy at station. You have to make sure it's a thing that did not work for others. Matei? I said What do you have for Eric first? I put bad student. I put bad student. For Mr. Wolfram. It doesn't listen and wants to be weathered. Well, Mr. Wolfram. I put intern at TV station for mine, but as long as yours does not apply to others. For Mr. Matthews, the reason I can't use what Felipe had is that my description of him was dad. <laughs> so I figured that would, he's the only one in there that was a father of somebody, or definitely the father of Eric. forgiving for him, too? Sure, that's fine. Ooh, hang on, maybe not. Because I know, I had to think about it. Technically, also, I would say Eric is kind of forgiving because he and his dad fight. So. So, uh, How would you describe Pat? Um, Works for me. Oh, that's what I put. I put oh my goodness. Put Eric's boss. Yay! I put him. Manager. Sure. And Mr. Feeney? History, History teacher. teacher. Neighbor. Or or actually, I, I did. I did. I did. Oh, did he's a principal. He's, he's a no. principal. Wait, Maybe. why is he he's he's a the principal class and a teacher? In the show, they he calls him. Remember when I mean, he was holding up a little piece of paper and principal he was Feeny. like, "We just got a note from Principal Feeney. It says your homework is still due on Friday." Wait, why, like, is oh, he, so. why is it? Why is it principal? Because, right? because it's a TV show. <laughs> and also, back in the 1980s, the, the principals used to be teachers too. No, it's a TV That's show. TV shows. Yeah. They wanted to keep them on the episode, but they also had to keep them because they had kids in different schools, so they had to get creative, and anyway. TV magic. For setting, when does it take place? 1989. Close. Wait, that's, what's actually yeah. really the 1980s? Nope. Or, 1990s. 1990s, because the show started in 1993. The show started and so in there is a scene when he's doing the weather, and he talks about a blizzard, and he says, it's the blizzard of 96. That's the only reason I know it's 96. But also, if you didn't put that, that's fine, but I know. Yes. Well, actually, the show actually started in 1993, but that was 1996 because it was the third season. Yeah, that's why I went 96. And then, what other thing can you put for win? Winter. 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 Probably the much bigger one. There are three locations it goes to. Homeschool yeah. school yeah. news station. Homeschool news station. Homeschool news station. Philadelphia. Home. Homeschool. Can you Philadelphia? I mean, yeah, it's even Philadelphia. The problem only with Philadelphia is which one would you take out and say Philadelphia is more important than? Do you say Earth? House in Philadelphia. Again, which one would you take out and say that's a more important thing? House on Earth. <laughs> yeah, that's the trick. House so plot, what is the first thing that happens? Eric, Eric goes. Eric, Eric, Eric goes to job. Yes. Yeah. He's an intern. Uh, I still got it right. And then at the very end. Eric does that same He finally goes to the paper. Goes back to school. Yeah. There go. And then I gave you number three. Is number four he gets fired? I don't know. We have to get number two first. I'm not real good at counting, but I know how numbers work in that direction. I know, but I just skipped four. Right? Well, then what's number two, Derby? Derby. Have you heard like, about it? I know Eric gets a better here. offer to do other well. Yeah. Someone he, can't. He gets told that he can't graduate. No, he's told that he can. Not that he two. gets to become the weatherman. Why? Because, because the wind is on vacation. Like there you go. Eric takes over because other guy left. Hi, Derby. What's number four then? He gets fired. There you go. Oh, so I'm right Go back to being a gopher because he gets fired. I was right for number four. I'm smart, Mr. Gopher. Point of view? Third uh, person. First person. Third person. So, did you guys ever see there's an old show called Malcolm in the Middle? No. Oh, yeah. No. It's a show where in it he would, or if you've seen Deadpool. Did he go to jail? Uh, it's where he, they turn and talk to the camera. So like as the oh, show's like going along. Oh, like Tiger? Yeah. Breaking and so, the fourth wall? And he, breaking the fourth wall. That's what would make it first person. This one's not. It's definitely third person. Let's go. Cool. And then the next part is going to be? Limited. So Eric's in every scene? Yeah. Yes. Except... He's not. Yeah. There I'll is a scene it. where he. Mommy, God is talking. Yeah, Storky. Yeah, it's like when the um when they're all like eating breakfast in the beginning. Yep. And she's like, I'm gonna go to college. There you go. And that's when Eric takes off and leaves. So technically, that's all it means all to make it omniscient. Of course. Omni man. Oh, 
I'm really hoping you picked up on the theme. It's kind of why I chose this episode. Life is hard. Stay in school. Uh, stay in <laughs> the world is tough. Keep uh, studying. The world is the world studies. Is don't, don't become an idiot. Don't don't kind of. Don't you please raise your hand. Don't jump out. Why is this important to the story? Because you have to be a There you go. That was the whole point. That's why I chose the episode. It's all about staying in school. Don't know why I think that's important. Do well in school. And that's what he even tells Mr. Feeney at the end. What do you mean? I have to graduate. I have to stay in school. School is important. Don't throw squirrels at puppies. Right. That's the other one you learned. Yes, that makes no sense. So what? 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 Makes sense. So I feel like the theme proof. Um, I put diplomas are important. Can I keep that? Sure. Okay. And yes, I agree. I probably worded that poorly now that I'm reading it. Internal conflict. Uh, what decisions Eric make? Be the be the or, 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 or stay in school. Stay. Or write essay or don't do essay. That works too. I would count that. And then I went for Mr. Matthews from everyone. Oh, I did uh, Eric and Pat. That would work too. Me and Pat it would also work. Matthew? I, will um, mm -hmm. fail school or become star of weather, uh, weather station count? Oh. For Eric? Yeah. yeah for, I know one for Matthews. Matthews. Uh -huh. It's make amends with son or have, like, be mad. Disown. I went for yell at Eric or accept his poor choice. It's pretty close. Oh. Close to them. And yes, you can have other internal conflicts. These are just the ones I came up with. If you have different ones, that's fine. You don't have to erase it. Thank Julia. You. What was plot number two again? I don't remember. If you have one and three, you can figure out two. Plot number two. Other than that, we're done. Yeah. You can take off. Make sure you submit. Wait, is your second extra?